lot of it comes down to vets appreciating what physiotherapy can do. And there's never really been an, an organisation that can create an interface between vets and physios so that we can exchange information, we can work together, where we can promote veterinary physiotherapy as an evidence-based profession. And that's what a lot of vets have a problem with because, of course, every drug they use has been tested and every technique, every surgery has been researched and it's written in the literature. So it's just a case of bringing veterinary physiotherapy as a, as a science in its own right. We're professionals in our own right and we just need to build on the evidence base of what we're doing so that we can get more vets to refer, so that more animals would benefit. It's taking off in a, in a big way and we're getting a lot of interest, not just from the UK but from Europe and particularly from America, the veterinary physiotherapists who work in major trauma centres in the veterinary schools. You know, it's just the sort of thing that they've needed by saying, well, look, we need somebody who can take what we do, explain it to, to vets and interact and, and support research into veterinary physiotherapy. Also, the problem with veterinary physiotherapy is anybody, you could set yourself up tomorrow and call yourself a veterinary physiotherapist. There's no restriction to the title. Believe me, I've seen a lot of people who've called themselves veterinary physiotherapists who I wouldn't let within a thousand miles of an animal. What we want to do at ASVAP is to, is to ensure that people are aware that they must look for qualified people and we want to set the standard for the qualification. And we're already in talks with DEFRA and the Associate Parliamentary Group for Animal Welfare about setting up a, a, a centrally held register of qualified veterinary physiotherapists. So at least if vets are aware of veterinary physiotherapy, but they don't know, you know whether this person is qualified or not, they can look on the central register and know that they can refer with confidence to somebody who is qualified, insured, skillful and professional. Things like MSc and PhD, vets understand, you know, that's a standard university accredited qualification and you have to meet that standard. And with veterinary physiotherapy, we have to meet the Quality Assurance Agency's um, benchmark standard for veterinary sciences. So at least if we've, got a, if we've got a central register where everybody meets those criteria, then the vet can refer to anybody on that list with confidence.